Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. Welcome back to Champions League predictions for the final match of the group stage before the knockouts in February. Should be interesting for sure. In match day five, though, this is how I did. I got nine results out of 16. So, results wise, not bad. Only one score, though, so not good enough. I said 2 on Galatasaray. That was a goal off. I drew 1 1. I said 2 2 in this game. Leverkusen won it 2 0. Got this right exactly. Rounded PSG got it 2 2. Was almost 3 2 as well. Uh, Bear with a late free kick. Bayern, I said they'd win 3-1, they won 6-0, Lewandowski madness. Result again for Spurs, I said 2-0, they won 4-2. Completely wrong here, I said Atlanta, I said they'd lose 2-1 and they won 2-0. Unpredictable this year, Atlanta. Actually, not really, actually, to be fair. I just keep getting them wrong, because I, I thought they'd do well at the start and they didn't. Then I said they'd lose and they win, so whatever. City, I said they win 4-0, they drew 1-1. Um, Juventus, I said they'd win 2-1, they won 1-0 got the margin at least again the margin i said 3-1 zenit was 2-0 zenit um almost right here it was wrong but i said 2-1 chelsea and it was 2-1 chelsea then uh, they conceded uh, later on obviously um i got off again i said one in liverpool was 1-1 i said 1-0 salzburg they won 4-1 a goal off here 2-1 barcelona i said they won 3-1 damn it a goal off again in the same group i said 2-1 inter it was 3-1 um I said 3-0 Leipzig, they drew 2-2. I said 3-1 Ajax, and they won 2-0. So, yeah, it's, it's, I, I did okay. I did okay. On to the final match day. Gonna look at the groups as well, you know, just to like see uh, what situation they're in. Um, with this one though, to be fair, on that form, <laughs> Napoli should win it. Um, I'll go for 4-1, I reckon. Nah, 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 nah. nah that, that's too much, too much, 3-1. If it's four, I swear down. If they win four one, I, I I am done. Okay, I am done. Well, group yes, yeah, this group obviously. Salzburg, Liverpool. Liverpool may have to win, so uh, pressure on for them. I mean, I, I'm sure they'll still go through anyway. Um, wait, they won four three, didn't they? Actually, to be fair, if they win by two goals, that could knock Liverpool out. This could be interesting. <laughs> this could be interesting. Um, I'm gonna say 2 2. I'm gonna say Liverpool don't lose. I'm gonna say they ride it out. I'm gonna say Salzburg do well, but I'm gonna say they don't, they don't, they don't quite have enough. I think it'll be a draw. Taking a risk there, but we'll, we'll see. Dortmund, Slavia, Prague. Um, where are they? I mean, even on form, I can guess anyway. Dortmund should win this. Dortmund to win 3-0, I reckon. This is huge. Inter v Barca. Barca are through, obviously. Inter need to win. They absolutely have to win. Simple as that. And Barca could rest players as well. So I'm going to say Inter win. I'm going to say 2 on Inter. This is assuming that Barca rest their players. This is assuming they rest their players. They are through and top of the group as well. So they probably will. Uh, Leon v Leipzig. Um, where are they in the group? Where are they? Oh, they're in Group G, right. Oh, that's pretty close. <laughs> that is pretty close. Um, I'm going to give it to the home team. I'm going to say Leon win 2-1. That's going to be interesting. Especially if Zenit win as well. If Zenit... Wait, can Zenit catch Leon? What's the head-to-head? -head? I don't know. I don't know. But... Um, Zenit may have to win to have a chance, obviously. I'm going to say they draw. I'm going to say Benfica won. Zenit won. Chelsea v Lille. Chelsea, I think, will win this. Or will they? Yes, they will. They win it narrowly. Very risky. Very risky. But Chelsea to win 1-0. Just, just the one goal. Huge risk, but I'll take it. Um, Ajax, Ajax should be fine, I reckon. Or will they? Yeah, Ajax to win two nil. I'm gonna say, what's their group like anyway? Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's tight, it's tight, but I'm gonna say Ajax win. It might be a draw though. I'm thinking draw possibly. 
but I'm not too sure. Dinamo Man City. Man City are through, guaranteed to finish first. So I think the rest players. Plus they don't last two games, 1-1 one, one, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to say that again. I'm going to say 1-1. One, one. Just, just, I'm going to say City are going to rest players and Zagreb get a point. Um, Shakhtar Atalanta. Um, Shakhtar on six points. Atalanta on four. If Atalanta win, they could pull off a, an incredible comeback and actually go through, as I predicted as well. Um, see, I, I was thinking they actually can do it, but there are a way in Ukraine. That's not going to be easy, you know? Um, but I'm going to take a risk, all right? I'll get it wrong. If I get it wrong, then fine. I won't be pissed off, but I'm going to take one more risk on Atalanta. And hopefully this time, it pays off. Unlike, unlike the first few match days, uh, PSG guys has to right. Obviously, PSG are guaranteed top as well. Um, 13 points as opposed to Real Madrid's eight. But I still think they'll win the game. Um, I think they'll win 3 1. I'm going to say. I'm going to say that they'll still uh, pick up the, their last win of the group stage. Club Brugge, they got a draw, Real Madrid, didn't they? They got a 2 2 draw. This could be, could be a good game. Could be a good game. Um, I'm going to go for the same again. Yeah, same again. They did draw 2-2, right? I think. I'm going to say 2-2. I'm going to say 2-2, regardless. Bayern v Spurs. Closer this time. It won't be 7-2. Spurs have definitely improved. Bayern are in bad form. Definitely. But in the Champions League, they're winning all their games. So I'm going to say they win this one as well, but narrowly. I'm going to say Spurs give them a good game. I'm gonna say Bayern just win 2-1. Does it matter any of this, this this one? No, it doesn't. Spurs guaranteed second, Bayern guaranteed first anyway, so I think a lot less pressure on both teams anyway. I'm gonna say 2-1 still. Olympiacos Red Star, safe to say when we were in these kits, definitely different kits. Um, this, is a, this is basically about a Europe League spot. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Olympiacos win. Olympiacos win 3-1. And they'll overtake. They're on one point, Olympiacos. They're on three. So, um, and it's in Greece. So I'm going to say Olympiacos pick up the win. Nice stadium. <laughs> Looks a bit like a biscuit. Anyway, um, Bayer v Juventus. Hang on, just look at the group. Juventus on 13, obviously already through. Bayer Leverkusen, a point behind Atletico Madrid. They would need to win and hope they don't. Can't see that happening to be honest, um, but they're gonna have to believe, obviously, and I'm sure they'll go for it 100%. But I don't see them winning. I mean, I can see them winning, but I'm not confident enough to back it. I'm gonna say 1 1, not 2 1. Atletico Madrid, to they'll win, they'll win. Um, 2 0, I'm gonna say. They keep a clean sheet, locomotive. Might do well, they did well against Juventus, but I don't think they do well in Spain. So there we go. 2-0 um, to, 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 to go Madrid. 1-1 one, one between Leverkusen and Juventus. 3-1 Olympiacos. 2-1 Bayern Munich. 2-2 two, two between Club Brugge and Real Madrid. 3-1 PSG. 2-1 Atalanta, big risk. 1-1 one, one between Zagreb and Man City, not a big risk in my opinion. 2-0 Ajax, 1-0 um, Chelsea. 1-1 one, one between Benfica and Zenit. 2-1 Leon. 2-1 Inter Milan, 3-0 Borussia Dortmund, 2-2 between uh, Red Bull Salzburg and Liverpool, and 3-1 Napoli. So, I'm confident about some of them, doubtful about the rest, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully another 7 out of 16 like last year. How you doing, Harry? This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and goodbye. You know, Arsenal are so painfully bad right now that this competition is like therapy for me, like watching it brings me joy, was watching my own team bring me so much pain.